told him this is a wrong thing. What happened was wrong. You know what? What do you want? What do you want to say? That is supposedly Jahadi John or Mohammed Hamzawi, as news outlets identified him last week, denying he was an extremist. It's part of a two-minute audio recording released today by the British advocacy organization CAGE. The group represents people who claim they are harassed by anti-terrorism authorities, and one of them was Hamzawi. In the audio, the Kuwaiti-born Londoner discusses a conversation he had with a UK domestic security agent after being detained and questioned about him possibly wanting to join al-Shabaab militants in Somalia. The recording could not be independently verified by USA Today, but in it, the man purportedly to be Hamzawi mentions his opinions on the London terrorist attacks in 2005, the war in Afghanistan, and the 9-11 terrorist attacks in the U.S. Hamzawi said letting innocent people die was extremism to him and that the 9-11 attacks were wrong. He also said, If I had the opportunity for those, those lives to come back, then I would make those lives come back. The audio recording follows a BBC report that quoted somebody claiming to know Jihadi John and calling him a cold loner. Another report by London's Mail on Sunday included emails it said Hamzawi wrote years ago saying he considered suicide after continual harassment from British security forces. CAGE research director Asim Qureshi told the Associated Press last week that he knew Hamzawi in a different way. You, you might be surprised to know that the Muhammad that I knew was extremely kind, extremely gentle, extremely soft-spoken, was the most humble young person that I, I knew. The audio released today further blurs the image of the hooded man allegedly responsible for the gruesome beheadings of hostages seen in Islamic State videos. For more info on the developing story of Jihadi John, go to usatoday.com.